Hi there, this is my little video on common door grooming. This is Angel, she's a year old, just over a year old, and her coat is in the messy phase at the moment. It's just starting to cord in some areas, as you can see, along her back is doing well. She's still got lots of puppy fluff over here. Um, you might see on the internet and in books, Sometimes they say common doors don't shed, um, but they they do, especially when they're puppies. Um, less so when they're corded. So what I'm doing here is just splitting the cords, making sure they're separate. What I like to do is, once the cord is sort of well established, I'll just trim off some of the puppy fluff so that it's easier to find next time and so that so that it's easier to keep separate from the other cords there's a few areas that um, take longer than other areas like the ears they tend to map up into a single piece so what you need to do there is separate them into um, plates and then pull those apart into individual cords be really careful though around the edges um, around the neck is quite tricky sometimes as well the easiest bit I find is along the back the other thing is the tail the hairs on the tail are, are kind of different and it's sometimes hard to get the cords to start along there but you'll get there eventually. So this is Angel. She enjoys having her having her hair messed with and groomed. <coughs> Other things you want to pay attention to while you're doing it is checking the feet. Make sure there's no stones or seeds or anything like that underneath. Make sure the nails aren't getting too long. Um, check the teeth, check the eyes and uh, make sure you, they keep uh, keep clean and of course the ears, you want to try and pluck those every once in a while because if you, if you don't pluck them too much, if you don't pluck them enough then cords can form inside the ear and that's um, a breeding ground for, for problems. Um, and then over here is Trixie. So she's two and a half years old. Her cords are all pretty well established. So with her it's just a case of pulling the cords apart every once in a while, keeping them separate. If there's a cord that's bigger than it needs to be, sometimes it it can be split in two, but most of these are about the right size. She likes having it done as well. She puts her paw on you and asks you to do it. Um, yeah, that's Trixie. And then over here is Buddy. He's not quite as keen on it, but he doesn't really mind. His coat is a little bit different, really, um, because Angel's and Trixie's needed quite a lot of work to split the cords. But Buddy's um, kind of <coughs> corded by itself, so it didn't really need that much work. From the earliest stages, it, it was already separated into cords, mostly. So, um, yeah, it's a different kind of coat. And also his, his tends to stay cleaner than the others. The other thing to pay attention to is um, around the back end, this, at, the, at the back of the at the base of the tail sometimes you get some really big 
mats. I don't know if you can see that, but you have to just pull those apart. Sometimes Buddy will come over and say, what are you doing? Bite my hands a little bit. But he doesn't mind too much. So you want to try and break up any big mats that you can find there. Hello, buddy. The other thing, around the muzzle, I've just trimmed um, buddies a little bit. Because what will happen is, around, around the nose, if those cords get too long, they'll cover the nose and then they'll just get wet and they'll stay wet for a long time. And that's when they start to really smell um, when they don't have a chance to dry out. So I just trim them just so that you can still see the nose. Sometimes the cords underneath their chin um, can go like that as well, but not too much. Teeth. Good boy. Teeth. So that's Trixie's over here, still asleep. Well, being lazy anyway. This is Angel. You want to try and get them used to having every part of their body messed with. When you're, when you're sorting out their coat and sorting out any problems. So try and get them used to it from the earliest stages and then you won't have problems further down the line if they have an injury or need something doing. So you can see here, there's a kind of plate here that needs splitting. So I'm gonna split that into three separate cords. So you just pull. Sometimes you'll need scissors, but I like to do most of it by hand. So there, I've, I've made that into three cords that you can see there. But it's all about just finding how the coat is kind of lying at the moment and just sort of working out where you can fit in the cords. But at angel stage, different parts of the coat are cording at different um, they're, they're at different stages so you have to bear that in mind as well 